Hello everybody, I am Just Lance and I would like to welcome all of you back for another video. Um, before I get started, I just want to say to everyone who commented on my last video, um, thank you so much for the, um, for the comments you guys uh, gave me. Uh, I'll admit, I got a little choked up when I was looking through them, but you know, um, what happened was still a little raw for me, but, um, and, oh, Carl, if you watch the, if you're watching, man, uh, I apologize, I didn't get comment back to you on that, that, um, uh, shit corona video, where you said you was finally getting all caught up, and, uh, you, you know, condolences from my dog, basically, um, thank you, man, I appreciate that, anyways, so, let's go ahead and let's take a look at what we're going to be using the razor is going to be my rockwell 6s um it's got a gillette um, wilkinson sword saloon blade and it's on like it's third or fourth use um that's either set on five or six i'm not sure my girlfriend's out of town so she can't just look at it and tell me if it's on five or six so Either one works. The um, brush is my whipped dog, high mountain white, and the tall amber handle. The soap is K Shave Works Hump Day. One of my favorite soaps, and I will be finishing that off. Almost held up my son's hairspray stuff. Um, Orange Menthol by Maggots, or from Maggots. Um, oh yeah, real quick before we get started, I got something I want to share with you guys. Um, went ahead and had my guide Herbie cremate it. I have his ashes, but the place that cremated him, they actually made a paw print. Let me make sure this is the right way. And there it is. That's my big old boy's paw print. I'm going to go ahead and take, get some gloss black and paint the inside of his paw print so it'll be black on white. And they gave it to me in this really nice little bag with a, uh, it's kind of transparent on one side. And it has a cloth in the bottom for padding. With drawstrings, so let me set this out of the way. Don't want that to get broke. But anyways, so let's go ahead and let's wet the face and well first actually load the brush. Oops, I'm gonna break that. Mm. I love this hump day soap one of my favorite scents and I haven't used it in a while and I figured on my video where I come back I want to use stuff that I just really enjoyed using so I hope you're all doing well um, Justin, the red arm shaver. Um, man, Justin, if you're watching, I hope you and your family did okay through that hurricane. Dora, Dora, or Dora, or whatever its name was. I didn't get a chance to comment. Um, something had, came up that I had to attend to immediately, so. And I hope your neighbor didn't bug the crap out of you playing the piano all night. So, I guess he's got, if you're not familiar with Justin, the Red Island Shavers channel. Um, 
God, this brush is so great. The, these tips, these gel tips are just so soft. But um, I guess he's got a neighbor that last time the power was out, which, you know, they're not getting hit up there in Canada by the full force of what the hurricane was. But still, they're um, going to get the tropical storm part of it, or they got the tropical storm part of it, I guess. And he was saying that he had a neighbor that, um, last time their power was out overnight I guess the neighbor played the piano all night long and um, I like the sound of piano but yeah if I had to listen to it during an entire night it might it might irritate me but you know he's got I guess a drum kit he could hop on and Trying to return the favor, so to speak. Yeah, I don't know if Trevor B is going to be coming back to YouTube or what. Um, I noticed on my channel list a few days back that um, there was a channel called TV. I don't ever remember signing up for a or subscribing to a channel just called TV. I'm going to flip this plate over and see if it's a little more aggressive. Um, only thing I could think of is, ah, oh, dang it, I forgot to use my cube again. Dang it. But, um,. Yeah, that's a little more aggressive. No, it's on six. But I clicked on the TV channel and uh, it said this channel has no content. So, Trevor. If you're watching, I hope all is well. And um, if uh, you gotta leave YouTube for whatever reasons, then good luck to you, man. Um, Whatever you decide to do with your future endeavors, buddy. So, I understand sometimes people just get burnt out on it. So, I'm going to go ahead and rinse real quick. reapply yeah it was like 102 here today it's been brutally brutally hot oh and if you're watching from the east coast in any of the areas that's dealing with the hurricane or that had to deal with that hurricane um, I hope you pulled through all right with 
as little amount of damage as possible because hurricanes they are not nice <laughs> from everything I've seen about them I've lived my whole life in California so my brother he lives out in Kentucky and they have hurricanes out that way sometimes so or not hurricanes tornadoes So, and when the hurricanes come, come up the Gulf, they get like remnants of it from, you know, just rough weather a little bit. So, okay. Yeah, if you've never used Cave Shade Works, they're really, really great So. They have an excellent base. Um, they do make tallow now. I guess they made some tallow for West Coast shaving, so. Or made soaps and made their, some, some of their soaps in the tallow base, like the dude. I want to get that one eventually. Cross the grain. Decent audio feedback on the razor, at least from where I'm sitting. I've been listening to a lot of books lately, get myself out of my own head, so to speak. Um, and uh, so I've been on a little bit of a run, book wise. Just finished up um, Clive Cussler. Um, Celtic Empire. Um, if you like adventure, actually adventure novels. Clive Cussler is a pretty good one. It's one of my favorite authors. Pass two down. I'm just baking. I'm just cruising through this shade. But, um, if you've never read a Clive Cussler novel, I haven't read any bad ones or ones that bored me, so they're good. Oh damn, what was that? That fell off my razor shit. Ooh. Brush slipped out of my hand, hit my tray. Ooh, flipped the rock well. That's a stainless steel, man. Let me make sure that's all okay. Yep. It's all right. 
<laughs> that was scary. That was scary. Slipped off, flipped the plate, my little tray. I got this little microwave tray. And that's where I set my brush and my razor and all that in between passes. On my brush between passes and my razor when I'm lathering. So all I heard was that razor hit the ground and my heart skipped a beat. <laughs> so okay, last pass. Let's see how this does. Some of my favorite vintage Gillettes don't even get me as close as a 6S does. i got a couple of them that does. My fat boy that always does a really good job. Great residual slickness on this case shape works. But, um... My gym styles definitely don't get me, well, take that back, my um, gym micromatic open comb, it gets me pretty darn close. It gets me really close. But, I do like them, so. Once in a while. I bust out with a gym style shave. I used to have five gym styles, but I donated one to that. raffle that Aaron Fajaric was having for Russell from Wawa Shaving because it just did not work for me but the guy who got it he loved it guys oh, I'm gonna do the alum so. one minute old spice alum stick y'all you know, there's I got a couple new subscribers and guys I will mention you in the next one um, why one of my videos I got commented on by a gentleman from Slovakia I just recently here not long ago picked up my 80th subscriber so so I think that was him if that is you let me know so I can give you a shout out in the next video and the other gentleman is visually impaired like me and the gentleman that I announced in the last video He's visually impaired himself as well, so, um, you know, so, a um, couple of new visually impaired guys to the channel. One sec. That guy, uh, that 
was a really, really nice shave. Um, a little bit down here, uh, but for the most part, it got 99% of it, and I'll suck in here shortly. Um, use the 6S on my head, haven't done that in a while, so yeah, wonderful job. Anyways, so yeah, I'm really happy with that shave. No nicks, no cuts, no leapers, no creepers, none of that stuff. Dickinson's witch hazel. <laughs> yeah, if you watch She Shaves with Jill, or if you don't, um, or if you do and you haven't seen lately, um, she ended up getting a straight razor. I gotta watch her video where she uses it for the first time, but um, or listen to it, I should say. But um, she just got herself a set of stones, so she ended up getting a from straightrazors.com a straight razor set, soap, practice, you know, strop and all that. Um, Hmm. Let's go with, with Sterling's uh, Arcadia for the bomb. But, you know, down that rabbit hole she went. Which, you know, if you turn this into a hobby, yeah, uh, you go down the rabbit hole and sometimes you can go deep. I love the smell of Arcadia bomb. It at first has a slightly heavy, slightly oily feel to it, a little bit, but it dries really, really nice, and it doesn't leave your skin feeling oily after it dries, so... Um, yeah, it's a little bit thicker bomb, so it's not real thin, so with it being a little thicker, I imagine that's probably one of the reasons why it kind of feels a little heavier and a little oily when you apply it. Yeah, it's almost dry. It's almost dry. It soaks in really, really fast. And I actually use just a little too much. Hmm, I need to get that soap. <laughs> Um, orange menthol, the soap. If you've used K Shave Works, you know what kind of soap it is. Um, one of my favorite scents. The Razor Rockwell 6S never lets me down. Um, I love the smell of this orange menthol. That High Mountain White from Whip Dog. Great brush. I ended up winning that in the giveaway. When shaving in the lion's den was active on his channel, channel, but he's an active soldier. So, or was when he was doing his channel. So, yeah, could have been deployed. I think he might have been deployed. So. And there we go. That's the shave. Hope you all enjoyed it. Um, I'm glad to be back. Uh, and hopefully go ahead and I'll get another video out here in a week or two. Um, hopefully next week. Anyways, um, I'll see you all in the next video. And on the flip side of the blade. Bye bye now.